Thank you, Haley. Joining us now, Dan Zarlinga with the Missouri Department of Conservation. Today we're talking about backyard maple sugaring. This is pretty interesting. It's a small group that does this, but there's a a big demand for maple syrup. Let's call it what it is. So how does this work, Dan? Yeah, well, so for folks who are not fans of winter, here's a silver lining for you. Okay. So during winter, in January and February, the sap flows through trees. Mm -hmm. And the best trees to tap for making syrup and sugar are the sugar maple trees because they have the highest percent of sugar. Even then, it's only 3%. So the, the job that you need to do is first you need to find yourself a sugar maple tree. You need to make sure it's at least 10 inches in diameter. So we have a cross section of a sugar maple tree right here. And we can see where a couple of uh, folks have already drilled in here to tap that. So if folks are concerned it may hurt the tree, if it's big enough, the tree will heal as you see here. Mm -hmm. So then the next step is once you've got your hole drilled, you need to take one of these taps and basically slide it in there, tap it in with a little mallet. And then from there, you can hang a bucket like this. Uh, this is like a sap collecting bucket, or people can even modify things like milk jugs and mm -hmm. things. So you just go ahead and let that sap flow into the bucket. Best conditions are when we get those kind of slightly warmish days and then cool below freezing nights, that really causes that sap to flow. And so drip, 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 it just eventually accumulates. And then once you get uh, enough sap to pull off the tree, then the next step is to boil that down because it's 97% water. So you want to get down to that, to that uh, concentrated sugar. So it takes about 40 hours of boiling wow. to get down, and uh, 40 gallons of sap to get down to one gallon. So 40 gallons of sap, 40 hours of boiling, ends up with one gallon of syrup. So is that 80 hours total? No, that's 40 hours. 40 hours 40 total. gallons, 40 hours together, and then you get your one gallon of sap. Now, you should do most of that boiling outdoors over a grill or something because you don't want to get that sticky stuff in your house. Mm -hmm. Then you take it in the house and just finish it on the stove. Now, the finishing part is critical because depending on how you do things, you could end up with either syrup or if you let it boil just a little bit longer, you can create sugar with it. Oh. Hard sugar, yes. Now, most people are probably going to be interested in syrup. But historically, when the pioneers did this in the good old days, they would use, actually, they would make sugar with it because they had no way to keep the syrup. It would spoil so they could make sugar, and that's how they sweeten their food for an entire year. This is their crop, that, what they did in the winter. Back then, cane sugar was not that available, so this is they had to make their own, and this is how they did it. This is how they kept it sweet. That is mm -hmm. very fascinating and interesting. A little yes. history lesson for us today as well as something that is very Unique because yes. I would have never thought 40 hours out of this tree. So real quick, if we can break it down in about, oh, 30 seconds. we sure. got to go from the tree. Drill a hole, okay. tap the tree, put your tap in, hang a bucket to drip the sap down and mm -hmm. get collect you know as much sap as you can. Then the next step is to boil it down over uh, outside, preferably the most of it, and then finish it on the stove in the house. And then you can eventually get to syrup. Or if you boil a little bit longer, you can get to um, sugar there. Wow, great. Thank yes. you, Dan. So next time we're at that breakfast spot saying you want pure <laughs> maple sugar, this is it. This is pure maple syrup, a real thing from nature here. Good deal. Thank you for joining us, Dan. We're back with more Power of Two after the break.